I'm Dr. J.D. Armstrong. I'm the Maui Technology Education and Outreach Specialist at the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy. Uh, most of my work focuses around working with teenagers. Uh, I, I think of them as young scientists. This came out of an effort to connect with the community and also to develop the next generation of scientists. I also work with the Falks Telescope North, which is part of the Los Cumbres Observatory Global Telescope Network. The Falks Telescope North is the largest telescope in the world that was built primarily for education and outreach, so it's a very good combination with the rest of the work I do. The students that I work with, uh, we try to do real research. We we uh, are particularly interested in exoplanets and asteroids, uh, comet recovery, um, and uh, some of them have even been in international news with their work. And so I'm very proud of the work they do, and it's, it's amazing to find uh, these students, so many of these students that are so capable here on Maui. My background is actually in solar physics. Uh, my PhD is in astronomy and my dissertation was written about uh, the energy transport of the solar convection zone. And so when I came here, I was originally looking at doing solar physics, solar research. And uh, life throws some changes and I ended up working with Falks Telescope North and trying to do nighttime astronomy without knowing as much as I really should. And so uh, I lear have learned a lot alongside of the students that I work with, the, the young scientists. In a typical year, uh, we'll start it at the High Star program. The High Star program is, uh, it starts off as a one week sort of summer camp for the students to all come together and learn how to do meaningful research. And we bring in uh, some, some of the other researchers and other guest lecturers. We work with data on meaningful uh, projects. And then the students present their research at the end of the one week course. And then after the, the one week part, then the real work begins. Uh, I meet with the students regularly. I'll have uh, students coming in today and students came in yesterday and we work on their research. Uh, and I always encourage them to enter in the science fair. The, I like to view the science fair as uh, a, more of a conference. I discourage them from approaching it as a uh, competition but I want them to view it as a conference where they can go and present their research, disseminate the, what they've learned. Um, now, that doesn't mean I'm not proud of them when they win awards, and we've had quite a few, but uh, uh, I want the focus to be on the science. And my students make me proud on that. They actually are, uh, I'm really proud of how well they are able to put aside the competition and focus on the science. I think this program has led students into becoming astronomers and I'm, this is one of the things that I'm most proud of. We actually have uh, about seven times as many students that have gone through the program, that have been part of the High Star program, about seven times as many are working towards doctorates so we uh, compared to the national average let me see if I can word that in a way that would be useful um, uh, this the alumni from the high star program are uh, pursuing doctorates at about seven times the national average and one of the students Erica Sauchinach uh, she's uh, studying astrophysics at uh, the University of Texas uh, another one that I'll, I'll, I'll brag about is uh, Rochelle Moskowitz. I hope I pronounced that last name correctly. She actually has told us that it was because of the High Star program that she realized that she could make a living doing astronomy. And she is now in a graduate program studying icy bodies and uh, making us very proud.
What do I see as the future of the High Star program? Well, we're going to continue yeah. doing uh, remarkable science. We're going to have a good time and just geek out on science. That's the that's the main goal of it is to do some do something that contributes to humanity's knowledge and enjoy doing it while we're at it. Beyond that, uh, there are currently plans to expand the program, but I would be open to that if if uh, if we were able to do that. And they're just. There's always the limits of resources, and uh, that's, that's a little bit of what we're facing with uh, uh, growing the program. The James Webb Space Telescope, it is, it, it's just going to be amazing. I've seen some of the images that have come out of it, and it's bringing back that era of the Hubble. And the Hubble was just such an amazing telescope. It exceeded everyone's expectations and that was before the end of its expected lifetime and it's still going after the, it's the end of its expected lifetime. And so I'm, I'm sure you've had, I'm sure Jeff talked a lot about the amazing science that is going to come from this telescope. So I'm going to talk about the inspiration that is going to come from this telescope. One of the students in the High Star program um, he seemed to be kind of drifting away a little bit. And then the, then the first images from the web came out. And suddenly I'm getting a text on my cell phone of, hey, could we look at these targets that the James Webb looked at and, and compare results? And so it really is this, this amazing callback to, you know, when I was younger and I was looking at the Hubble images, and it inspired me. And I think that we're going to be inspiring not just kids, but kids of all ages with the, the new generation of, of uh, discoveries from this telescope. The biggest expectations for the scientific discoveries are, well, are, are very distant galaxies, early, f early formation of galaxies. But I'm also seeing uh, they were observing uh, an exoplanet looking at the atmosphere. And I hadn't thought about that before, but when I saw that, I just was like, eee! <laughs> because I, I, I get so excited about exoplanets. I mean, this is, you know, where what Gene Roddenberry would have said, we're going to explore strange new worlds, seek out new life and new civilizations. And so uh, exoplanets will always hold a special place in my heart. Because of, because of that. Um, beyond that, I, you know, they've also imaged planets in our old solar system. It's, it's going to be such an amazing telescope for the discoveries. And part of it is, part of my answer is going to be this. I don't know. If we knew what we were going to discover, it wouldn't really be science. Mm -hmm.